where thousands of people are watching you and I didn't see a case of nerves at all. What's the deal? What did he tell you? Uh, it, I just, I felt that this was my chance, you know, there's a, uh, I mean, you don't get a lot of chances in, in um, I don't know, I've, he's just a super competitive guy and I've just fed off that my whole life. I grew up playing sports and uh, that was something, and then when I started surfing he's like, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, oh, this is, you know, guys are making careers out of it. Mick's been probably one of my favorite surfers for like 12 years, so it was, uh, and then to end up in a final with him, um, and then somehow beat him, it's, it's pretty sick. Oh, you mean your dad wanted you to go into a ball or a bat sport? Yeah, I mean, at the time, I mean, that's what it seemed like, you know, he's like, you guys aren't making money in this, but not that the money that really matters, but, um, um, you know, I just would have the passion for surfing. Once I started doing it, it was like, I, you know, I'd be down there twice a day. And um, I mean, talk, it is a home court advantage, definitely. I, I grew up surfing here pretty much every day, twice a day. So um, when it comes to that, I feel like I did have, but this guy's a seasoned competitor. He's won everywhere around the world. And don't let me get you wrong that I was kind of looking what he was doing, you know, so. Uh, yeah.